Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Tangled Up in Books. So, as you can tell with this title, I decided um, that I wanted to reread The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. I wasn't planning on reading it this soon. The movie comes out the 17th and today is the, um, the 11th, May 11th. It's 4.31 p.m. and I was planning on reading this um, Wednesday, but I'm in the mood now. So, yeah, excited to like vlog my experience rereading The Sun is Also a Star, and then I'm going to vlog my experience watching the movie when it comes out. Not like actually watching the movie because you know that's illegal to film in a movie, <laughs> um, but just like my uh, my initial thoughts going into the movie, and then afterwards, all my thoughts about the movie. And I'm gonna vlog that experience. So I'm gonna vlog my experience rereading The Sun So So Star and then my experience um, going to see the movie. Like I said, I was just in the mood right now to read The Sun So So Star. So I'm curious because I read this pretty quickly when I, the first time I read it. So I'm curious to know how long it's gonna take me to reread it. Um, I'm planning on, once I start reading now, to just read until I get tired and just like read straight through and see what happens. <laughs> I don't know why I want to try that, but I just decided. I was like, I'm just going to just like read as much as I can until I'm tired and see like how far I get into it. Um, I really do hope, I, my goal is to finish it before, um, tonight. Fingers crossed I can do that. I feel like I can, but I don't know. But yeah, um, that's my plan for today. And I'll keep you I and I'll keep you guys updated on my thoughts rereading this while I am rereading it. Okay. So I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so I want to update you guys. So it's 6.08 p.m. and I'm reading The Sun is Also a Star. I'm on page, I'm on page 51. And um, there's already things in here that I forgot happened. Um, like how um, Daniel ended up bumping into Natasha and this whole, this whole train scene. Um, which is so funny because I'm like this, I've had a lot, this past week I've had a few like weird experiences on the train and then reading this scene again, uh, when he's on the train, the conductor starts like preaching about God and like going on and finding God. He literally stops the train to like preach to the, um, customers on the train, the passengers and like their reactions that they had. And I'm like, oh, that's so New York. <laughs> so I found that so funny. And I'm like, it just, it just made me think about like the weird experience that I had on the train this just this past week. Um, let's see. Just this past week, I was on a train, and somebody decided it's a good idea to pull the emergency cord, the emergency brakes. So then, so then we were stuck there, and. Okay, we were stuck there. We were moving for a good minute. It was like, I'm gonna say like five minutes. We were just chilling in the tunnel. Let me see. I'm gonna read you a line. And I was like, exactly what happened to me. Okay, so 
So then he goes, um, we make it about 20 feet into the tunnel and grind to a halt. The lights flicker off. Because, because of course they do. We sit for five minutes before the conductor decides communication would be good. Um, and I just found that funny because literally we were sitting in the, in the tunnel for like five minutes. And the, then the conductor decides we should probably make an announcement and say what's going on. Um, so then my experience in the, um, this past week. So somebody pulled the emergency brake. So then we were stuck there for like five minutes and then they decided to tell us what was happening. That they didn't even say that somebody pulled the emergency cord. They said like something broke. Um, I found out it was an emergency break because I have a train app and when there's like delays and stuff, it tells you what happened and on there it said that somebody pulled the emergency break. So then um, they couldn't move the train. <laughs> so like... The first cart was in the actual station and the rest of the train wasn't. I was in the last cart. So um, everyone had to get up and walk to the front of the train. So we had to go through like um, in between the cars to get to the next car and the next car to get to the front so you could get out the train. Um, and then I had to find an alternate route home because now there's so much congestion because all those people on the train had to get out and now they're waiting at this train station. So I had to find alternate route home and then just yesterday i was coming home from work it was rush hour and um the train i was waiting for wasn't coming and i'm like where's this train so then i look on the app it says somebody pulled the emergency brake in church street so um trains um are backed up there's delays um so then i had to find an alternate route home because I wasn't gonna wait there until there was let's con people um people congestion on the trains. Yeah. So I just it, um that scene just really like spoke to my heart because I'm like, I know exactly what you feel that Daniel. Yeah. Yeah, the only reason I'm taking a break now is because I need a snack. So I'm going to get a snack and then I'm going to get back to reading. This sounds also a start. Yeah, and I just wanted to update you guys on my thoughts so far. So yeah, I'll update you guys again later. didn't finish reading the sun is also a start the day that i started it i said that i wanted to finish it all in, in that night like that day but that didn't happen um i had work the next day so i could have just like stayed up and just like finished it like throughout the night but i had work the next day that sunday so i didn't I had to I had to go to sleep so I got to page 200 yeah I got to page 200 I'm still really enjoying this reread um, there's actually a lot that I don't remember yeah that I don't remember um, so it's nice rereading this and just like falling back into the story and just having a good time with it so the plan for today, why I'm filming, is that I, I don't work today, so it's 2.10 right now. So yes, I don't work today. I have a dentist appointment that I'm going to go to in a little bit. So I'm going to take this with me and while I wait to be cold, um, I'm going to be reading this. And yeah, so I'll keep updating you guys throughout the day on my progress of my reread of the sun is also a star. Hey guys, so I'm back from the dentist and 
boy was at a, an appointment. It's now 6.27 p.m. I left a little bit after I, my last update. When I told you guys I had an appointment, I left a little bit after that. Like literally, I took the bus like a 2.30, 2.35 around there. Got there at like close to 3. And literally just got home. Um, so one thing I hate about this dentist is that it's you don't have an appointment time. It's first come first serve. So it's always a long waiting time. But the one good thing that came out of it is that I was reading The Sun is Also a Star while I was there. You know, the book that this vlog is about. And like I told you guys, I was on page 200 when I, um, when I left. And by the end of it, I'm now on page 263. So I got a good amount done while I was at the dentist. Um, okay, now talk about the book. So still really enjoying it. I enjoyed it the first time I read it. I'm enjoying it even more now. Yeah, like I said before, there's a lot of things that happen. Or like things that happened in the past that they talk about that I forgot happened and I'm just like yeah I was like damn like honestly I don't remember because the reason why um, Natasha's family is getting deported is because of her father and I didn't I don't remember <laughs> that some of the things that her dad says is just like so messed up and yes I, I really I don't I did I really didn't remember that like I don't want to spoil anything um, but yeah a lot of the things that he says is just like what <laughs> like how can you think that like wh how why do you think that way like it's really messed up so I'm curious to see how they portray that in the movie um, if they are gonna make him more likable in the movie or are they gonna stick to the roots of the book and kind of make him unlikable because at this point I'm like what's his name Samuel yes Samuel I'm like at this point I'm like Samuel you need to like get your prior priorities um pi why can't I say that word priorities straight and like yeah um the love story <laughs> love still amazing the one thing i do remember is how much of an how much of an ass daniel's brother is that i do remember but honestly he's more of an ass the second time around reading it i guess i just forget i forgot some of the things that he said and did um same with natasha's father i just forgot a lot of things so I don't I didn't remember them being that much of jerks and Tasha's father isn't a jerk he's just I don't know his mindset is not straight <laughs> it's not right and um, Daniel's brother he's an ass so yeah I don't, I don't think there's much more I can say but yeah, I'm really enjoying this reread I'm super excited to finish it I don't know I'm gonna finish it today hopefully because I only have I don't know you can see I have this much this much left I don't have that a lot left so maybe I could finish it today maybe like I but like at least midnight but yeah I'll keep you guys updated on my reading my, my reread of the sun social star guys so i just wanted to do a final update on my reading for my reread of the sun is also a star by nicola yoon so i finished this last night yes yeah, so i finished this last night and i feel like i enjoyed it more than the first time i read it 
I think the first time I read it, I gave it four stars, and this time I gave it, I gave it five. And that was mainly because of the ending. Um, without giving anything away, um, I remember the first time I read it, I went a little bit more from the ending. But um, rereading it now, I feel like it was a really good ending. But that being said, I still wish there was just a tiny bit more to the end. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, and now I'm like really excited, even more excited than I was before to um, to the movie and see what they take from the book and what they don't, what they change. Um, yeah, I'm planning on seeing the movie on Saturday. Um, today's Thursday. I don't know what day is it, the 15th, the 16th. It's Thursday the something. <laughs> and it's 12.34. But yeah, I'm planning on seeing the movie on Saturday. I think I'm going to go by myself, which should be interesting. I've never been to a movie by myself. Yeah, if you guys haven't picked up this book yet, I really recommend it. It's, um, I know I, I feel like a lot of people are like turned off by it because of the whole insta-love situation. But I didn't mind it. I, I am one of those people who doesn't really like insta-love. Like, I find it a little bit annoying. But in this book, I didn't mind it. I thought it was done really well. And I thought it was just a cute story. I feel like that's all I could really say without spoiling everything. But yeah, um, in conclusion, <laughs> I really enjoyed this reread. And yeah, I really enjoyed this reread. And I'm really ex I'm even more excited now to see the movie. And I did enjoy this a little bit more the second time around it the first time and i loved it the first time so that's saying something yeah so again if you haven't picked this up pick it up it's really good it's a really cute story oh so, uh i'm gonna continue on this vlog when i go see the movie and then i'll i'm gonna try and vlog when i go to the movie but you know filming in public it's like a thing so i'm gonna try but i definitely will um update you guys on um, my thoughts afterwards i'll do a little bit like non-spoiler and spoiler about my thoughts on the movie so yeah so that should be the next clip so yeah i'll talk to you guys saturday hey guys so i just wanted to come on here and end this vlog um so i've seen from the previous clips i reread the Sun's also a star by Nicola Yoon. And then on Saturday, whatever day that was, on Saturday, last Saturday, <laughs> today's, okay, so today is Friday the 20, today's Friday the 24th. Um, and last week, Saturday, that's when I watched the movie of The Sun is Also a Star. So I just wanted to come on. I was gonna vlog that day, but I completely forgot um yeah completely slipped my mind um like i was going to vlog like going to the movie or whatever and then going to the theater and like walking in or whatever um <clears throat> but then i forgot and then i was gonna do like this little like mini review when i got back but my neighborhood was my neighborhood was so loud that day they were blasting music the entire day so there i didn't really have a chance to film like this little this little review so i'm doing it now okay so i did write down some notes in my notebook that same day so i go ahead. it could be fresh in my mind on um, what i thought about the movie okay yeah so so i have my notes so i'm gonna let you guys know uh, my thoughts on the Book to movie adaptation okay so the first thing that i noticed of the movie is that i think they changed they changed i think one person's name which not a big deal but they changed a person's name they also got rid of three characters from the book so one of the things that i loved about this book was that um we got to see from um from the perspective of these three other characters that Natasha and Daniel bumped into during their like little adventure in New York so we got to see like their point of view on 
um, on like why they did certain things. So I really enjoyed that aspect. So they got rid of those characters altogether, which I guess makes sense. Cause I, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, they got rid of those characters. Um, and, and I feel like those ca having that, having those characters and having like seeing their perspective on why they did certain things and why they were acting the way they were acting was really interesting. So I was a little disappointed that they didn't add that aspect to the movie. They also completely changed Natasha's father's backstory. So like I was like I said um when I was rereading this, um that he was really unlikable and a lot of things that he said and did was just like what's wrong with you they completely changed that in the movie and um like they changed um the reason why they were getting deported um because in the book it's 100 percent the same samuel was her father's fault of why they getting deported but in the movie it it was because of him but it wasn't his fault if that makes sense so yeah so they changed um and they also changed because in the book, he is, like, the reason why he came to America and his passion is acting. And they completely, that that's, like, not part of the movie at all. So, they, like I said, they completely changed his backstory. Also, in um, the book, Natasha's brother, um, in the book, he was born in America, in New York. And in the book, um, they say that he was born in Jamaica. That's not a difference, which is not that big of a difference. But there was also this one line, um, like towards the end of the movie, that they changed from the book, and I actually preferred the line in the movie that versus the book, um, just because without giving too much away, um, the way that it was said in the book, it was like too insta lovey, if that makes any kind of sense. Um, but yeah. It's, but the way they did it in the book made it seem like, you know, it was just... Okay, I'm just going to say because it makes no sense. So if you don't want to hear any kind of, like, spoiler of the book or the movie, um, just uh, skip this little part right here. It's um, it's not that big of a deal. It's just a small line. So if you don't want to hear it... Oh, okay, so I'm going to put, like, a picture of... Okay, I'm going to put, like, a little picture that says mute here. When it goes away, you can unmute. Okay, that's what's gonna happen. Okay, so um, the line that I'm talking about is when Natasha takes Daniel to um, to her apartment, and her father is like, "Oh, who is this?" Um, like he has to go, whatever. In the book, Natasha says he's my boyfriend, and <laughs> like they didn't discuss they didn't discuss this. Like, um, yeah, I'm your boyfriend like we're like dating now because you know they just met that day but in the movie they changed the line to he's my guest which it's a lot better than just being like yeah he's my boyfriend and it's, and it's like oh you just met but okay <laughs> and there was some discussion about maybe being like okay yeah we're dating now <laughs> so yeah um so i do like that they changed that one line okay so now that's all the little spoiler that i wanted to say so, okay, they completely changed the ending of the book, which makes sense because because they took away one of the ca characters from the book, like she's involved in the ending. So, I guess it makes sense what the, what the, why they had to change the ending because she didn't exist in the movie. So. Yeah, but they completely changed it. But I liked it a bit more, the ending, just because I feel like, because at the end of this, I just wanted a little bit more, a little bit more conversation. And in the movie, you get that. Not really conversation, but like, it felt more like an ending to me. Or like, yes, like, things are good. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it at that. They also changed how the first sighting, so how Daniel sees Natasha for the first time. That's not a, a big deal, but that was a, a change. 
Yeah, and I felt like the movie made both um, Samuel and Natasha's dad and Charlie, Daniel's brother, a little bit more likable. Um, just because Daniel's brother, Charlie, he was still an ass in the movie. But I don't know. I felt like he was less of an ass in the movie. Especially just because of like that one line that he tells Natasha. I'm not going to say what it is. But I felt like, like it, I saw a little bit more, a tiny like glimmer of humanity in him. So I felt like, you know, they made him a tiny bit more likable. Just because I just saw a little glimmer of like, a little glimmer of hope <laughs> from him. And then at the end, like towards the end, um, this is something that I feel like not a lot of people will notice. But they film a scene and it's set um where that's a spoiler <laughs> i'm not gonna say who but on a college campus they film a scene on college campus and it says that it's hunter college and it, it literally says when one of the characters walks by it says hunter college right and i'm looking at it and i'm like that doesn't look like hunter i live in new york so <laughs> Um, Hunter College is in New York and I was looking at it and I'm like that doesn't look like Hunter College that looks like City College so yeah that's just a little little thing that I noticed I'm pretty sure though City College I'm like doesn't look like Hunter I don't think that's Hunter pretty sure it's City but yeah that's uh, one of the things that I noticed like towards the end um, but yeah um, what I did like about the movie is that it kept the main essence of the book. It did change a, f a good amount of things, but um, it didn't take away from the overall like meaning and feel of the book. But like I said before, I do wish that they had been able to find a way to include those three characters that they, and they got rid of because I felt like they added a bit more to the story especially one of them because um she comes she comes up again at the end of the book so i wish that they were able to include that um just because i feel like that added so much more to the story having those three perspectives uh, but overall the movie was really good it was enjoyable it was it was a cute movie which the book was cute as well and um yeah i feel like it was a really good adaptation um because i've seen some disaster adaptations <laughs> and i feel like this was a good one but um if you only seen the movie or you're only planning on seeing the movie i really do recommend the book because i do like i keep saying i do feel like you get a little bit more from the book obviously because <laughs> it's a book um but yeah i feel like you will get so much more from the book if you if you read it and not just watch the movie but if you just want to watch the movie that's okay too because it does um, focus it does keep the main focus of the book the main message of it so which is the whole deportation um storyline um i think they stuck true to like natasha and daniel's love story i've never <laughs> i'm like oh i should give this movie a rating but i've don't really rate movies how do you rate movies is it uh, like out of a five star scale is it 10 stars like i don't know okay let's say it's out of 10 stars because i feel like movies are the real out of 10 i feel like i don't know let's say it's 10 so i would give it like a seven or eight a seven or eight stars it was a really good movie um i do like that they stuck to like the main plot of the book and didn't stray too far and just like the changes that they made weren't so dramatic i feel like the most drastic change they made from the book was um natasha's father's backstory yeah so wow i've been talking for 15 minutes <laughs> so that's it that's where i'm gonna leave you guys this is the end of this vlog Please let me know in the comments down below if you read The Sun's Also a Star, also if you've seen the movie and your thoughts about it. And like always, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe. Become a member of the little family here on Tangled Books. And 
all of our social media links will be linked down below in the description box so you could follow us on there and you know keep up with what we're up to but yeah that that's it i'll catch you guys here next time on oh, technical books bye